Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Color Me Bad Lynn. Back again with an amazing share. This will be uh, session one of Color Me's Pillow Talk Fragrances. And so what I'd like to do is come on periodically and share with you guys a Pillow Talk fragrance combination that I discovered or came up with that I really, really enjoy and that I don't mind coming on and sharing with you guys. But before we get into that, welcome to my channel. Uh, welcome back. If you've seen any of my other videos, just to give you a brief scenario of who I am and what I do. Um, I talk mainly about fragrances, uh, the ones that are in my collection, those that are on my wish list. Sprinkle me, baby. Uh, also, we talk a little bit about natural skincare, a little bit about makeup, uh, all types of hair, love, relationships, romance, dating, family issues, and faith, most importantly. Um, and then if there's anything else you want to talk about, make sure you hit me up in the comments or send me an email, address it, dear color me, and we will get into it. All right. So let's talk about it. Uh, I love pillow talk. I don't know about you guys, but I love pillow talk. Um, I love uh, texting at pillow talk time and things of that nature. And if you can relate, you understand where I'm coming from. Well, you know, during pillow talk, you want to have on a really, really nice fragrance, I assume, if you're into those types of things. Well, at least I do. And hopefully if you're watching this recording, you probably do as well. And one of the Pillow Talk fragrance combinations that I have found and discovered that are a part of my collection, I wanted to come on and share with you guys. So let's get to it. The fragrance I want to come on and share with you guys, and I think I've talked about this fragrance before. Um, this is 273 by Fred Heyman. Okay. Little old school fragrance. All right. And I'm going to spray a little bit out on this because I haven't worn this in a while probably worn it maybe once or twice but this is a really really nice fragrance if you layer it properly um you can really uh upper echelon this fragrance you can really push it uh with this uh, making sure that you layer this properly um this is one of the most beautiful uh cheapy fragrances uh that i've ever smelled it's an old school fragrance but it's so pretty you guys and it has a beautiful uh, longevity to it so let's get into it and share with you guys uh, what's in the fragrance and if you don't have this in your collection you may want to add this one and then I'm also going to share with you uh, what I layered it with um, so 273 is Rodeo Drive Fred Heyman for women of course anyone who wants to wear this fragrance absolutely can um, your main of course of this fragrance it is a white floral um, it is fruity um, it's woody it's sweet I haven't smelled this in a while it's really good um, it has tuberose it it's, uh, dries down a little bit powdery it is a yellow floral it is anomalic which is something that I look for in my fragrances this is a warm fragrance so this is something that you would normally wear in your cooler months like uh, fall or winter but this is something that I will wear around this time of the year especially like with the weather we've been having like on last night um and yesterday morning was just extremely rainy and breezy perfect for that type of weather in my opinion for me so again this is anomalic um it is lactonic and it's warm spicy so your warm spicy is what kind of puts it in the category of being um a cooler month fragrance but i don't know if i've shared with you guys before that those are the fragrances i like to wear in the summertime all right Again, 273 Rodeo Drive by Fred Heyman is an amber floral fragrance for women. 273 was launched in 1989. So this has been around for a long, long time. But this still smells really, really good. Your top notes are tuberose, okay? You got gardenia. Um, you got peach in this. They got plum in here. And I'm not a huge plum lover. But the way that they've incorporated this plum with the other notes is absolutely gorgeous and delicious. You also got jasmine. Remember I told you about jasmine. Jasmine has an addicting factor to it. And it makes you want more and more of it. Okay. Your middle notes are ylang, -ylang Apricots. I can definitely get the apricots. 
um apricot has a really really unique taste and scent and you really get this get that in this fragrance along with ores roots um your base notes are spices i definitely get the spices in this fragrance it has amber definitely get your amber i love a beautiful amber floral fragrance as i stated before um hence the juice you can always kind of tell by the coloration of the juice it has vetiver and cedar you guys this is so pretty um if you're looking for something that's inexpensive um just to knock around in um this is a beautiful beautiful amber floral fragrance um this does have a beautiful longevity to it it lasts I would say maybe six plus hours if you labor this properly it may last even longer than that but it handles business it lasts more than enough time to handle business um, if you like hypnotic poison you will probably uh, enjoy this um, if you like red um, red is a really good fragrance to compare this one to if you like that fragrance you may like this this is a lot sweeter um, it's a lot more of a warm spicier fragrance so if you don't like those more warmer spicier lactonic fragrances this may be something that may be a little bit off-putting to you but if you're adventurous in your fragrance choices and you love to wear your fruity floral this really should be deemed a fruity floral because you get a lot of that you get a lot of that peach and that apricot it's really really strong it's really really kicking along with the spices in this um it is a absolutely gorgeous amber floral fragrance for women and i thought i'd come on and share this beautiful beautiful pillow talk bedtime fragrance now let me show you what i combined it with okay um i use sweet sunrise by body fantasy so i'm gonna bring it in a little bit closer if you guys don't have this in your collection now when i first started using these sprays i was a little bit apprehensive i'm a bath and body works girl you know and so I, those are the fragrance and body mist sprays that i like because they work um they don't dry my skin out they last forever um if you just want to wear them by themselves you can but i discovered these scents um i believe i have the coconut the vanilla the cotton candy one i really really love um and this one sweet sunrise when i tell you that this smells so gorgeous so beautiful um you know when you layer your fragrances properly and you get home from like a long day of work or whatever you can smell whatever you started your layering combinations with you know if it's a good body spray and a good body cream or lotion you get that once you change your clothes um you know right before a bath or a shower you still can smell that that is what this gives me absolutely gorgeous um you can find this at any of your um you know drugstores uh cvs walgreens uh walmart you can probably go online and order them gorgeous one of the prettiest body sprays just really simplistic really easy you spray it on um i like to spray on after shower bath then do my body creams and lotions and oils then spray again depending on what type of weather we're having and then you know maybe go in with a little bit of a fragrance of my choice um and then a lot of times i'll top it off with whatever body spray i'm using it depends on how i'm feeling and how i like to seal my fragrances this is absolutely gorgeous so again if you don't have sweet sunrise by body fantasies i highly recommend that you add this to your collection it's such a beautiful sweet it's a perfect perfect sweet citrus body mist and spray this is gorgeous you guys all right and then lastly what i use is um the body shops pink grapefruit body butter beautiful for pillow talk time beautiful for layering uh absolutely gorgeous i love the body shops butters uh body butters creams and their yogurts absolutely love them a little bit of this goes an absolute long way i'll open up the top so you guys can see how much i've used very 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 little um it has a really nice uh, consistency to it i just take a little bit there and kind of now you know i use more than this but the consistency of it it's creamy it's just thick enough it's so smooth um it glides on the skin beautifully um the smell of this is so beautiful um when you first apply this even if you put this on top of a fragrance and then spray again you smell that beautiful juicy pink grapefruit scent as you can see that really nice shine on the skin um it's not greasy it's not sticky 
okay because you know some body butters are going to give you a uh, stickiness to them really smooth creamy and light very cooling and relaxing to the skin absolutely gorgeous so those are my pillow talk bedtime sit picks for this week and hopefully each week we can come on and share with you some gorgeous pillow talk fragrances from my collection so again my pillow talk fragrance for this week would be 273 by fred hammond gorgeous gorgeous good this is 273 rodeo drive um this is a beautiful beautiful amber floor if you don't have this in your fragrance uh collection i highly recommend that you add this to your collection if you love amber floral fragrances and you don't mind a little bit of fruit juiciness with a little spiciness to it as well gorgeous fragrance then we went in and we layered that with our sweet sunrise so actually we use this first before we sprayed on our fragrance absolutely gorgeous this is from body fantasies and again this is sweet sunrise you can find this at any um any drugstore in america you can find that um and then we also use the body shops pink grapefruit get you some absolutely well even if you don't like the scent of grapefruit or pink grapefruit i'm one of those people i'm not real big on pink grapefruit um fragrances highly noted or body oils but i have one of the prettiest body oils that is a pink grapefruit body oil and then this body cream uh, from the body shop so i highly recommend if you love a sweet citrusy um semi-tangy but not tart um scents in your fragrances or just to combine with some of your other um highly scented fragrances that are um heavy on orange blossom mandarin juice and things of that nature give the body shops pink grapefruit a try you'll definitely enjoy them well that's all i wanted to come on and share with you guys today i hope this recording finds you all well and fine i'm not sure when you're going to gain an opportunity to see this recording but again i want to thank you guys for watching we greatly appreciate all of your love and support i want to shout out to all of my new subscribers and also my existing subscribers that have been rocking with me since day one thank you guys god bless bye bye